guys, it's Anarchy. So in my Disney princess cosplay video, you can watch it here if you haven't seen it. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial of how I usually do my Disney princess makeup. This is the basic look of how I usually do my Disney princess makeup. I experimented a little bit with a few things, but this is kind of just the gist of it. Now, to be fair, this isn't like what exactly what they look like in the movies. They're drawn, most of the princesses are drawn to have like basically no makeup. Some are drawn to have one specific feature like Jasmine has heavy eyeliner and Snow White has red lips. This is just like the base of what I do for everyone. And if I'm doing a specific character, I kind of change it up. I also did it a little bit lighter than I did in that video because I'm not going to take these pictures from far away. I'm filming a video, so I wanted to do it a little bit more subtle. I did that one a little bit more dramatic because I knew it was gonna be taken from far away, so I wanted the makeup to be able to read from a distance. This is more what I would do on like an everyday basis or if I'm filming like makeup videos or tech talks. I'll walk you through the process as we go and let you know where things would need to change if you're doing a certain princess. But if you guys wanna see how I got this look and how I do my makeup for Disney princess cosplays, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, first off, I'm gonna use Milk's Hydro Grip Primer to prime my face. I'm also going to use their foundation stick in cinnamon for my foundation today. Now, since I don't have the clearest skin, I tend to go for something more full coverage, but for a Disney princess kind of look, you want something in the middle of full coverage and as skin-like as possible since you're trying to look as natural as possible. So for me, this foundation works perfectly. Next, I'm going to take my concealer from Fenty Beauty and conceal as I normally do, which is under the eye and going up um, onto the sides of my eye to give my face a more sculpted look. A lot of this is just gonna be what's best for you, so if you don't feel the need to do as much concealing as I do, that's totally fine. You just wanna make your skin look as best as possible. So now I'm filling in my brows with Anastasia's Dip Brow in Ebony, just the way I normally do my brows. Um, filled in that one, now popping on the other one. Next, I'm going to set my face with this translucent powder in Honey from Laura Mercier. I've really been loving this lately. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour with this Anastasia bronzer. I'm also gonna hit the sides of my eyes to give myself a more lifted look. And speaking of eyes, now it's time to go into eyeshadow. I'm going to be using that same Il Maquillage palette I used in my last review. I've really been liking it. And I'm going to use these two natural colors to just give a bit of definition to my eyes. Now this is probably the most important step. You want an eye look that doesn't look like a whole eyeshadow look, but just brings out the natural beauty in your eyes. So since I tend to go for that more brat shape, I'm trying to mimic that, but as lightly as possible. You don't want this to be a very strong, glam eye look. You want this to just bring out a natural shape in your eye. So I'm just using these brown colors to kind of shape and define my eyes against all the foundation I applied earlier. Now I'm taking this light shade from the same palette and I'm using that to brighten my inner corner, which I always do. I'm also putting it on the middle as a prep for this eyeshadow, which is a little quirky from ColourPop. It adds a lot of sparkle to the look, which I think is gonna be great for a Disney princess, very sparkly, magically pixie dust vibes. Now I'm wiping off that bake and I'm putting on this powder also from Laura Mercier in bronze. Now this is a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna use this brown liner pen to do my eyeliner the way I normally would and then define it even further with another black liner. You can just go ahead and use a black or brown liner, but for this video, I wanted to experiment a bit and I liked how it turned out. It gave it a more of a natural look than I usually get. Now I'm just bronzing on the outer parts of my face. And now it's time for blush. I used this NYX blush palette and I used this pink and orange shade as a combo to give myself a very warm look. Most Disney princesses, you're going to want to go from a pinker, brighter blush. Adding a bit more definition with bronzer and now straight into highlight. I'm using this MAC Holiday Kit because it's the perfect shade for my face. And that's about it. Now it's time for lashes and lips. So next up is lips, and I actually wanted to kind of verbally explain my thought process for lips. So you want something kind of pretty and natural looking, which is not what I do. I usually do a brown lip, so I'm going to very much try to control myself by speaking through my process. First, I'm going to take um, Pat McGrath's liner in ground control and just line my lips. It is brown, but I need more definition considering how bright the lipsticks I'm gonna think about using are. Now that I've lined them, I'm just going to kind of contour them in on the sides. Now, I'm not actually going to blend them out with my finger. I'm actually gonna take another liner 
This is from Sephora, and I have no idea what color it is. Oh, it's called Hot Sauce. And I'm just going to use that to blend everything together. So that's kind of how I do like the natural lip liner for princesses. So now time for the topper color. And I've actually been loving Trixie Cosmetics for this part. Um, at first I tried these on and I was super scared of them and I thought they were too strong. But once I tried them with the liner, I actually found I really liked them, especially for when I want more of a pink, bright, girly color to my lips as opposed to my usual brown. <laughs> so if you were gonna go matte, I would go with this color, which is Stacy's Mom, which is like a bright pink. But today I'm actually gonna go glossy. So my choices are basically this coral called Snow Cone or this pink called Melodrama. I think I'm gonna go with Melodrama. And these are actually really pigmented and this one actually is a little pearlescent, which is nice. That's still even a little dark for a Disney princess, but I'm me and I can't, I can't do like a nude lip. <laughs> they all have pink or nude lips and I just don't usually do that. So that's hard for me. Anyway, final step is setting spray. I use Dewy Set when I'm doing like princess or girlier looks because I want more of a natural glow to my face as opposed to beat for the gods. So I'm just gonna spray this on and we'll be done. Okay, and that is how I do my Disney princess makeup. Um, it was a little different. I did a little bit of experimentation, but that's basically the gist of how I do it. Um, it's also kind of how I do my everyday makeup. So this tutorial is useful for that too. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, please leave a like below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social medias, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!